Hello everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, nice to meet you. Subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to my old Instagram pictures. Some of these are on Instagram still. Some of them I was too embarrassed when I was older and obviously like archived it. I still have them on my phone and I could retrieve them. I'm pretty nervous because I was pretty cringy when I was younger. I think these pictures range from like 13 to 15 and I'm currently 19 years old. I've definitely changed a bit. Kind of nervous, don't know what to expect. I mean, I do know what to expect, so I screenshotted them. But we're gonna analyze them today and we're gonna laugh at me and cringe with me and without further ado let's get into it and let's find these pictures i screenshotted a few of them some of them i screenshot the caption some of them i didn't follow all my socials they will be right here and in the description make sure you guys keep up with my life um i made a stamp account and i'm posting so much that wouldn't go on my main instagram so also if you guys want to keep extra involved in my life make sure to go follow that now let's get into the pictures let's hold hands you know got through this together just try to try to live on from this you know this is the past i'm not ashamed but like a little bit of shame but like it'll be okay kind of thing also please subscribe share with your friends i'm trying to get to 200k i'm like about a little over 50,000 away and that will be the next big milestone. And I hope you guys like me enough to subscribe and support and share. I'm going to just put them here. Some of them I have the captions. Some of them I don't have captions for. It's just depending if I screenshot it. So this is the first one right here. This is 2014 January. So I was about to turn 15 like two months later. This is in my backyard, um, not the best spot for picture. Outfit, I'm wearing leggings with boots, and I think that's a Nike sock. My floral scarf, guys, I was obsessed with floral scarves. Like, I wore a scarf every day, like I was the scarf queen. But then obviously like I grew out of it, and I don't think I've put on a scarf since. And my little army jacket, kind of cute. Like, I was pretty stylish at this time. Face, little skeptical. I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna rate these on the cringe level, 10 being the cringiest. I'll give it like a, a two, like she's not really cringe. She's not that cringe. Oh, this one is kind of sad. So this is this one. This one I took in the exact same spot. Let's just go over a few things. The caption, I'm gonna read it for you guys. What I need is a dandelion in the spring, this bright yellow that means rebirth instead of destruction, the promise that life can go on no matter how bad our loss is, that it can be good again. I was some deep ass bitch right there, like, okay, go off sis, like what else? My shorts, kind of cute in the moment, honestly, I thought I was styling with those shorts, these crochet jean shorts, like, come on, I was popping. I have a sun henna around my belly button. Who gets a sun henna around their belly button? Apparently me, but okay, moving on. My heart-shaped sunglasses. I think those are back now though, low-key. But I guess I was really down. And then obviously the halter top. Oh my god, I wore hella bracelets. I don't even wear bracelets anymore. Okay, we're gonna rate her. I think it's time to rate. Since I have the henna around the belly button and the really long cringy caption i'm gonna give her a seven on the cringe level i need you guys to also rate my cringiness down below oh my god this one i saw someone do this on instagram i think and i was like that's so cute and i copied them exact like a few different pictures but went on the same wall those other two pictures were taken and set up a little timer cam and went off for 12 pictures of me. It has like layered chokers going on. I think I made them myself. Kind of cute, kind of creative. I'm so scared. There's some gun posing. I don't know, some tongue. I mean, honestly, I was kind of hip. Like, ew, my caption, life is a verb. That's kind of hip, right? Like life, like you gotta live. Life is a verb. Come on. I don't know. This is pretty cringe just because I posted 12 pictures of myself in a grid and I. I feel like that's just a lot. And I copied someone else. I'm going to also give this a 7. This next one is one of the cringiest ever. I saw this one and I thought to myself, wow, that's pretty, pretty freaking cringy. So I had to include and obviously show you guys. So it's this one right here. Where do I even start? I had the glasses. 
there was no eye thing. There was no eye protection, no glass there. Why I wanted to take a picture of them, I don't know. The second part of those glasses, the pink. The fact that I'm making that face as a 14 year old. Now 14 year olds are a lot older. When I was 14, we were all just ch children. We were all children. My, what is my face? I low-key do that now though, so I don't. Sorry about it. But on the cringe level, I'll give her an eight because those glasses, what was I thinking? This next one, I'm freshly 15. So I have such a baby face. My shirt, kind of cute, like this little mauve earthy shirt. Um, the caption, no diggity, must have been, it was a line in a song, I'm pretty sure. I used to always caption my pictures, lines of songs, because I never knew what to caption. Now I feel like if I don't have a caption, I put an emoji at least, or tell you guys that I don't know what to bring caption this. And I just look like a lost puppy. My eyebrows are so far apart. Oh my god, I didn't even notice how far apart my eyebrows are. What the heck? I'm pretty sure just one of them was like that and the other one was normal. Oh my god, that is even worse. I didn't know how to contour my face. Like, I look all one shade of just caked makeup. Honestly, little girl has learned. She has definitely learned. And I'm so proud of her for that, okay? On the cringe level, honestly, not the cringy. I'm gonna go with the two. Just the eyebrows were a low. Well, I'm 15 here too. This is like freshman year of high school i honestly think i look pretty cute my favorite jeans they were so oh i think they were hollister jeans but they were like these cute boyfriend jeans that were like tied up here and like loose like that's a try now like i was already before the trip but i'm at lachlan i decided to get on the little pillars which i don't think you're even supposed to do rebel over here had a little tie-dye shirt look like blood is all over me but it's fine I'm not even mad like this is honestly not even a bad picture like I mean I could have done something with my blood looking shirt so I'm gonna give a one not the cringiest I'm proud I'm proud of her like she did well for herself so I wanted to always take pictures of myself like, I love taking pictures with people without people like I had this friend she was a photographer and she wanted to take pictures of me and my other friend and I was so down I took this so seriously I did my makeup fiercely I got dressed in cute clothes and clearly in this picture I I was too down and I captioned today's shoe as in like as if I'm like at an actual modeling shoe I don't know but like honestly that leg muscle right there is just thriving for herself and my face looks hella clear and my makeup not mad about it I just the whole process of me thinking that I was like legit was a little cringe but she's not the worst and like honestly believe in yourself this next one 15 years old a little selfie action a little off the shoulder white top I got a tan line coming through with the straight hair my makeup does not look bad the only issue I have in all of these is my hair looks dead I used to straighten my hair every single day and it's a little sus like the little green action i think i use like this one edit all the time where it like made me look kind of green not sure why i thought it was cute but on the, oh on the cringe level like, like a three just because like my hair was so dead and i was just making the most sophisticated faces as a little 15 year old what are you gonna do the next picture is kind of cute guys i was 15 and me and my friend went to vegas at these shops they had this cute like mural and the mural looked like it was raining rainbows how cute would it be if it go under this umbrella and pretend like i'm being rained on rainbows i'm like kneeling down obviously to like get under my messy bun is truly not doing bad you my eyebrows don't look terrible i must have gotten them done the caption is kind of good it's the rain is crazy in vegas that is so silly tell me i'm not the silliest person you know oh so we're moving on to some older pictures oh so this one is one of the oldest in my instagram feed i think if you scroll all the way down this is the first picture i have on there 13 years old I actually don't know if I'm wearing makeup. I think I might just be wearing mascara. I can't really tell, to be honest. The filter is just very intensified. It's just very old. And honestly, I'm 13. I have my braces going on there. 
this one I'm gonna rate on the cringe level probably like a five just maybe a six because the edit is just pretty intense the next one oh my god I am just the fiercest girl I know here like the fiercest I'm 13 years old here too and I set up my camera on my kitchen table set up timer cam obviously the side swipe was so freaking dramatic in this picture but I used to think this picture was it like this was my best picture at the time cringe level I'm gonna also go with the six just because the edit my fierce level at being 13 is just a little a little too much for me to handle I think this is gonna be the last picture this is me 14 years old posing in my attic I got dressed up for this also this was taken on my professional camera like I whipped out the big Canon camera and set it up on a tripod and posed in front of it with my boyfriend jeans lowered so you can see my Nike pros nice little cropped moment with a baseball cap know who who I thought I was at 14 years old I remember I remember vividly I had to go and download all those pictures then transfer it all to my phone and then edit them and then I could post it on Instagram. I really did that I was invested I just look like a completely different person I feel like I think I'm like 25 in this level probably the most cringe maybe a nine Okay, I'm done. I'm over this. I'm like exhausted. That's all the pictures I'm going to be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and going through this pain with me. I really tried super hard at that age and if you guys are that age, honestly, you can do the same thing because it is about living and learning. I'm happy about those experiences. Like, I had the best time setting up my camera and taking pictures of myself in the attic and no one can tell me that was wrong. You know what I mean? Like, live your freaking life. Wow, was my strap like that the whole time? I mean, obviously, looking back, I feel like everyone cringes at themselves. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked seeing some old pictures of me and having me react to them. If you guys want me to react to more things, comment down below. I know you guys want me to react to fan edits, so I definitely will do that soon. This video gets 20,000 likes. I will react to your guys' fan edits, your fan pictures, all that stuff. Follow me on my social medias again to be a part of my life. Subscribe for more of me. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, amazing rest of your week. And I love you all so much and goodbye.